Hello everyone and welcome to this Video Somme Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and I believe that this video is the actual first video that um, I have filmed in May of 2016. Now uh, a couple of things have happened. We've had the election, the Scottish election. The SNP have won a historic third term, the first party to ever do so in the history of Holyrood. Um, however, they did not get the majority, but uh, Nicola Sturgeon said that she's going to form a minority government. Unfortunately, a lot of people seem to elect the Tories this time round. Uh, I don't know why that is. Labour has completely shut out this last election. Um... But I mean, they were applauded. The Tories were applaud applauding the re uh, re-election of Jackie Bailey. I mean, that says everything you need to know about Tories and Labour. I mean, Jackie Bailey um, is very much pro Trident and you know very much anti. She's very much anti sensibility. Anyway, that is not the subject to this video. What is the subject to this video? Is what is in this black leather case. So you might be wondering exactly what is in this black leather case. Well, I will show you. This is actually something quite special. Now this is an Asus Transformer book with loads of fingerprints on the screen. Yeah, yeah, that, that probably could have done that better. Now, um, this may look like a standard netbook in a carry case, but this machine does have a nice wee trick up its sleeve. Do you ever have those days when you get so fucking angry that you fucking tear the lid off your laptop? No, me neither, but... This machine does allow you to do that. And it's actually transformed itself into a tablet. Now, I've actually got this to replace my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, which really was starting to slow down somewhat. And, you know, I really, really, really kind of did need an upgrade. Plus, um, because I've started using TeamSpeak now to chat to people, um, I actually um, really needed a Windows-based tablet so that I could use TeamSpeak away from the computer. There is an Android client, but it's really terrible. So, let's have a look at the um, I.O. on this tablet, because it has some. I've just kind of wiped the screen off a bit there. Nice. And I've just taken it out of the case. Let's have a look at the tablet. Well... On the back, it's um, these, um, the second gen, well, this is a newer Transformer book than what Billy and Luke had. And in this newer generation, which is, uh, which debuted in October 2015 or there, thereabouts, they've actually done some redesigning work. Now, I'm not sure how the lead was, but, um, this tablet actually um, had, um, well, you have the addition of a rear mounted 5 megapixel camera. On the front, you have this rather fetching Asus logo, a 2 megapixel webcam, and this is a 10 point. Uh, I can't even mind, I think it's a 10.1 inch touch screen. Um, the resolution on this is um, WXGA 1280 by 800 and a lot of people have been complaining about that saying that the Surface, um, you know, the equivalent Microsoft Surface has got um, a 1080p display and why has this got such a low resolution and you know what what about the dots per inch and the fact that everything else seems to have um, a quote-unquote retina display which I thought that was an Apple trademark but people seem to be using that um, 
to describe any uh, resol any screen resolution that uh, packs in an insane amount of dots per inch. But um, <clears throat> personally, for me, being visually impaired, this resolution is actually right where it's at. In fact, I've actually had to help it along a wee bit. Um, and I know I said I was going to do I.O., but let's discuss the specs first. So this tablet has got um, an Intel Atom um, X... I can't even mind what the model number it is, but it's a, it is a, the newer Cherry Trail Atom. Um, it's a quad-core, a true quad-core, and um, it's my only machine to actually have a quad-core processor. Unless you count my phone, which is a Galaxy S5. Um, it's got a Cherry Trail quad-core processor clocked at 1.44 gigahertz. Now, yes, that might seem slow, but remember, this is a tablet. And while it is using the desktop version of Windows 10, the use cases that I have for this and my desktop and laptop are completely different. But I do have the security of being able to run x86 apps when I need them. Um, it does have 2 gigs of RAM. Now, I would say that that's probably a wee bit small. You can manage with it. I'm managing it. But if you have the money, which I didn't, certainly think about going for the 4 gig one. This is also, and in terms of storage, this is the main storage device Inside this tablet is a 32 gigabyte eMMC uh, storage card, whatever it is. And um, eMMC storage is quite slow, but again, you know, if you use it properly, if you use it just right, you you know what the limitations of the device are, you know, and you you stick to using the the uh, universal apps or the new new interface apps, Metro, whatever you want to call it, then you should be absolutely fine. And there are some pretty good apps available nowadays on the Windows Store. But like I said, I mean, I do there there are desktop applications that I do use on this machine. Uh, we'll get into that. Um, you can get sixty four gig and one hundred twenty eight gig flavors, and you know, as with the memory, you know. If you can afford it, more is better. However, if you do have a 32 gigabyte model like I do, all is not lost because you do have an SD card slot, um, which can officially go up to 64 gigabytes. Um, and I do have a 64 gig SD card installed in here. Um, make sure you know, if you're installed, if you're wanting an SD card for your tablet, actually do pay attention to the speed and the class. You want something uh, of a class 10 kind of caliber. Anyway, let's actually get on with the I.O. stuff. So on the left side, um, you have volume up and down. Um, USB type C. Now this part actually, um, this is included on the newer MacBook from Apple, and um, these parts are actually very versatile. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, that's, that's very nice, but I can't really use the part for anything, because I don't have any USB 3.1 devices. And yeah, that does kind of scare me a bit too. You know, is everything going to be USB 3.1 and I'm not going to be able to use them and what have you? You know, and I'm going to have to buy all my devices again for, to be able to plug into that port. Not really. I got one of these on eBay. It's the equivalent of a USB on the go adapter, but what it does is it converts USB 3.1 to regular 3.0, which is then backwards compatible with 2 and what have you. Um, and there is one good thing about the new USB connectors. They are actually reversible and so much easier to plug in than the micro USB connectors and a wee bit more sturdy as well. So let me demonstrate. So I've plugged the adapter now into the USB Type-C port. Yep, very good. But 
let's say that I take it and want to plug it in upside down. Click. It still plugs in. So that is good. So on the bottom of the um, on the bottom of the tablet, you have um, these mounting. Uh, well, you you have the these sockets, and they are where this connects to the keyboard. If you just give me a moment, I'll put this down, and we see corresponding set on the keyboard. And then on the other side, we have headphone microphone port, the charger, which is a USB-B micro port, um, micro HDMI, uh, is it mini or micro HDMI out, and the SD card slot. So that's a tablet, and I have a case for it, which is the wrong one. Oh, also, on the back of the tablet, I missed it. Here are the stereo speakers. Not the best sounding speakers in the world, but um, they do get the job done. You know, and you can plug in an external pair, you know, if you feel that that's what you need. So, that's good. So, on the keyboard half of it, on the left side, there really isn't anything. In fact, there's really nothing on this keyboard apart from a USB 2 port, which you cannot see. There you go, one USB 2 port. So, you know, once this thing's docked, you can actually use it as a USB, well, you can actually use that USB 2 port. So, to turn it from a tablet into a laptop, you just literally drop it in here. So without further ado, let's power it on. So obviously this behaves like a tablet. So it's not just that you press the power button and it'll post and switch on. Um, it is actually, um, you do have to press and hold the power button like you would on any other tablet. Just pressing the power button will actually give you um, a battery meter though, which is quite good. So there we go, Windows 10 is up and running. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in. Okay, so I'm logged in. And I have adjusted the font, but you can't really see that on the screen. The contrast is a lot better in real life. It's probably because this has got such a, a bright screen. Um, let, let me just, um, actually, you know, let me just turn this down a wee bit. Oopsie. That's... That's... I'm, I'm not doing well at this. Where's the brightness controls on here? Um... There we go. Oops! Right. So you guys can see it, but it's really dark for me. Um, so... You know, this is basically just Windows 10, as you can see. Um, you know, with the um, in, in docked mode. Um, you know, it's got a normal start menu. You know, I can plug in a mouse. I can, you know, use it as a desktop. I've got lots of games on here. I've got um, a YouTube client going on. I've got Netflix, Plex, Skype video, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Twitter. And... Um, You know, and uh, yeah, got a few apps. Now, I do have Microsoft Office on here, but it's not actually the uh, desktop version. This is actually the universal version. And on devices of up to 10.6 inches, this is yours to use for free. So, you know, I've got a version of Word. It's actually really quite good on this. So uh, let me see. Um... And yes, I do have the magnifier on here, uh, but we'll go into that actually in a wee bit. There doesn't seem to be any kind of macro keys 
Um, there doesn't seem to be any kind of uh, gesture that brings up the magnifier, which, you know, is not something that I'm happy about, you know, and I think that that is something that Microsoft could add to later builds of Windows 10, because on Android, you know, even on Windows Phone, you've got a, you've got a way of bringing up the magnifier, so why can't they bring that to Windows 10's uh, touch interface? You know, I mean, it's the same system. They're the forever, the forever telling us that it's the same system now. But, um, aye. So the keyboard on this is actually really quite good. Does take a wee bit of getting used to, but um, you know, as you can see, I'm I'm pretty much assimilated with it now, and I've had this, um, I want to say, now for uh, nearly two weeks. In fact, I um, I took this to a meeting last week, and it was absolutely brilliant to have. There we go. Type into you on my transformer, but it will not. Unfortunately, will not transform into a bumblebee. And I think I've just saved that because that's how this version of Office works. As you can see, you've got, um, you do have a desktop version of Firefox. There we go. Takes a bit to load, but it does actually load. Which is quite good. I mean, this, I mean, at this point, this is just me using Windows 10, really. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll watch a YouTube video. Excellent, so we'll just let it load. Like I said, I mean, this can be... This can be a wee bit slow, but... So as you can see, the frame rate on this is pretty good. You know, once the video starts playing, you know, that's it. And, you know, once you're in there, it's, um, you know, once you've got apps loaded up, it's actually really quite quick. So we've seen it used as a laptop. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, it works really well as a laptop. But I got this to replace the Galaxy Tab. So what is it like when I undock it? Well, first of all, Windows 10 has now turned into tablet mode. I've I've actually set it up so it'll do that. You can actually, you know, you don't have to have tablet mode at all if you don't want. Similarly, you could turn desktop mode entirely off. So, and this case just about supports tenting this, which is really good. So, in tablet mode, the start menu becomes a start screen, a la Windows 8. Um... You know, and you can, um, and suddenly you've got access to, well, it, it really, I mean, the capabilities of the device don't change. It's just that, you know, now, I mean, you can, and you can even use the touchscreen when it is docked. But now, because it's a tablet, you can carry it around. And because it's in tablet mode, and yes, again, this is a bit slow, I know. Um, and because it's in tablet mode... It's actually really quite um, the the um, the interface has adjusted itself, you know, so it's better for um, dust finger poking. So there we go. Um, so why don't we play a 
couple of games on here. Now some of these will actually work on the desktop as well. You can actually download, in fact I have Rayman downloaded on here, you know, and I can play it on a desktop. Um, Platforms and then hey. end up in the bank and the day the dimity dabity boom. Very handily here, the volume control is kind of needed on games like this. Yay, time to jump on that giant green thing. Let's jump on that green bash. Oh no! I seem to have gone inside that cave! So this is actually quite a fun game. And it plays games like this really quite well. But what if you're wanting something with a wee bit more kind of action, a wee bit more pizzazz, a wee bit more 3D? You could always try one of these. Now this brings me on to something else. The default orientation of this tablet, despite the fact that the BIOS uses a landscape layout, the Windows was originally designed with the landscape layout in mind. This tablet, for some reason, its default, um, its default orientation is portrait. I really don't know why that is. Some games actually respect the fact that I've got this thing held landscape. Uh, some apps, well, they just don't, really. Um... Sometimes a new car makes a big difference. You don't say. Nice. Watch out and try to avoid the next obstacle by yourself. Yeah, and we all knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> Honestly, someone needs to get onto the city council. Try to try to make a detour in the road. Sometimes they can Uh 
Alright, yep, and this is a part of the game where you get your junker. Um, so I could have a Dodge, Dodge Ram? I don't think so. Uh, Ford Mustang. Honestly. Well, may as well. That's not really a junker. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Right, what did I do? Oh. Okay, I'm ready to play. Good. Asphalt. Okay. Come on. Tap at the right moment to try an extra jump. Can't be good for the struts. Fearless. So that is asphalt. Um, so as you can see, the tablet. It will orient itself whichever way you're wanting. So there we go. And um, just before we go, what I'm going to do is, uh, why don't we play a game that um, I'm quite addicted to, actually. Um, hill Climb Racing. Yeah, and I don't I don't know why it's decided to go with the border. That's um that's a bit odd. Let's um let's let's see what I can do. Um here we've got the uh, notification center and then we've got these buttons that allow you to switch various things on and off. So I can switch back to desktop mode. And um, go into tablet mode. So there we go. Um, right, so I'll take a rally car across the desert. And yeah, the, these are the kind of small games that are really quite addictive. I also quite like uh, Solitaire, which um, that is a, an upside about having a Windows device. You don't have to go looking elsewhere for a Solitaire game. Oh, listen at that crunch. So the graphics that are in this thing well, it's the Intel graphics, and uh, they're not bad. I mean, I can't, I mean, unless unless you're wanting something like uh, NVIDIA Ion or Tegra or whatever it is nowadays, you know, I, th I think this is really good. I mean, it's it's perfect for a tablet, you know. 
And despite the fact that I've got a faster SD card, I could still go slightly faster. But I couldn't really afford it. And as such, there is still a wee bit of latency on the SD card that um, seems to be made exceedingly noticeable in this game, and um, not so much in others. Crunch. Lovely. And then, so yeah, but um, this is, um, this is a tablet, so um, let's, let's have a bit, a bit of tablet music, uh, yeah, that'd, that'd be funny. And that seems to orient itself another way. Oops. Nope, let's... Let's... Yay for this tablet! Yay indeed! Ace has made a good one! Of that would agreed! <laughs> no, I'm kidding on. But uh, yeah, I mean that that is um that is a transformer, a T100 HA. So what do I think of this tablet? Well, I think you've got to know kind of how to use it. Like, you know, for example, you know, if I've got apps that I'm going into a lot like Facebook or email or something like that or you know, Messenger or Firefox, I, I'll usually keep them open. Um, doesn't really do too much, doesn't hurt the 2 gigs of RAM too much on here, but again more RAM probably would pay dividends. And um, you know maybe having the 64 uh, gig version of the tablet would probably help matters greatly too, and having the 128 gig, well that would just be a bit of a dream now wouldn't it? But, you know that said I really do like it and I'm glad I've got it. You know, and the battery is fantastic. And this is something else as well. You know, using this thing as a as a laptop, you know, you can do that for, you know, just like note takey stuff. I wouldn't recommend replacing your laptop with one. But uh, certainly, you know, for stuff that you, you would do on a laptop, you know, f like very, very basic stuff like internet browsing and taking notes or stuff like that. It could be ideal. <clears throat> so, you know, for example, if you're at university studying, you know, this would be perfect because, I mean, the battery lasts a long time. Um, okay, it does take quite a while to charge up again, but, um, and, you know, the cards could stand to be about 15 times longer, but, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's really quite good, you know. It might be a jack of all trades type of thing, kind of a, a hybrid, but I think it's actually struck something that is uh, very rare these days. A happy medium. So, you know what? I would recommend this. Completely. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please feel free to subscribe, um, to like my channel, and to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, URLs well, follow Video Sun Frontier on Facebook. You adults will, of course, follow. But before I do go, I would like to say, I would, I would like to say that um, you know, using something like this, you know, the modern interface makes sense. I mean, on a machine like that, you you quite often hear me going on about optical drives and legacy and what have you. On a machine like this, I totally get it. I do. I totally get USB th uh, three type uh, three point one. In fact, I get that anyway, because, you know, it, it's reversible USB connectors is a good thing, because how many times have we all tried to connect something to a USB port, and either way up is the wrong way. Um, you know, and I totally get the touchscreen interface. It's a tablet, you know, and with that, obviously, I would totally get the, um, you know, the uh, tablet, mode ver uh, tablet mode interface on Windows 10. And, uh, you know, 
Windows 8 on this would have been fine as well. I know it would. Um, in fact, the older Transformers did come with Windows 8. Um, you know, so it makes sense on something like that. But it doesn't... I, I'm still stand by what I say. It does not make sense on desktop computers or or anything like that. You know, it's it's just... Oh, look, there's Billy. Yeah. Hey, Billy. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't make sense on, on, on actual desktop computers. But the one thing that I do like about this machine is even though it is a tablet, you still have this guy. A real, honest-to-goodness keyboard. Now, obviously, you do have a an on-screen keyboard as well. But if you do need to do some typing, you've got a real keyboard to do it with. Anyway, that really is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Judy died.